Allahumma habib ilayna al-Iman. That's a powerful dua. Oh Allah, make beloved to us Iman. Make it good to us. Your belief, the belief we have in you and what is permissible, what is uh, obligatory. Make us love it, oh Allah. And make it difficult for us to sin. Make it very hard and detested for us to do anything that is going to be displeasing to you. That dua was made by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Surely we should make it. Listen to this dua. اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان وجعلنا من الراشدين. What a beautiful dua! Oh Allah, make beloved to us إيمان. And إيمان includes everything to do with Allah's instruction and so on. Make it beloved to us and beautify it in our hearts. You know when you fulfill salah in the morning and your face and your expression is so negative and your children are watching you lazily opening one eye and then quickly finishing your salah and dashing into the bed. That's not the ideal way of doing things. The ideal way, get up, wash up, put a droplet of perfume. Make sure that that perfume is not one that irritates the people around you. Because nowadays you have perfume that smells like mango pickle and people think it's so beautiful yet everyone's getting a headache with it. May Allah protect us. Have something good, a droplet for the sake of Allah. And then you Allahu Akbar and you're enjoying your salah and you have a smile on your face and you take it easy. It's not just inna a'tayna and qul huwa Allah in every salah. That's not how it should be. Some of us, that's what we do. First thing, Allahu Akbar. Your salah is done, I agree. But you can do better than that. Memorize another surah or two. You know, diversify. Go beyond. Start swimming in territory maybe you haven't when it comes to recitation of the Quran and memorization of it. See what it will do to you. You are preparing for the day you're going to die. You're preparing for the day you're going to meet with Allah. I want to tell you something. Well, let me first translate the rest of that dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught this to us through the blessed lips of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Karrih ilayna al-kufra wal-fusuqa wal-isyan. Make detested for us disbelief that will earn your anger. Anything that is sinful make it detested make it difficult oh allah create a barrier between me and sin you really want to do something and suddenly there is a barrier that stopped you from it that was allah telling you don't do this it's not worth it 